1,800 meters to cover. Flag up. And away they go. Doubling up, if anything, a little bit slow to go. Well, there are three that show their hands straight off the bat. And the early leader is Machete Man, as is his want goes off to the early leader. Machete Man in front by three lanes after not so far. We're doubling up racing in second. Philadavian back at the rail in third, just over a length away to Augusta Blue at the outside of Mr. Monocle. And Coronation Time is at the end of the field. Racing around eight lanes off the leader, it's Machete Man in front by two and a half lanes. So we're doubling up, who races in second trying to get across Philadavian won't let him then two lengths away to Augusta Blue the blue sleeves and the red cap half a length back to Mr. Monocle and then comes Coronation Time down the side of the course and they head through the final 1,000 metres it's Machete Man in the lead by two lengths of a doubling up who continues to be at the outside of Philadavian there's half a length between those two just over a length away Augusta Blue down the side in fourth place little less distance between them now with 800 metres left to run Mr. Monocle is one from last and then comes coronation time who's content to bide his time at the back of the field and they're about to swing for home just over 600 meters left to run machete man guides them in over doubling up the red sleeves and gold cap in second philadavian the first to be pumped along then mr monocle up the far side augusta blue's got a lot of running in him in between horses coronation time is towards the outside but machete man took a breath in front and still the leader by a length and a half doubling up augusta blue coronation time nearest us mr monocle Philadavian got some work to do as Coronation Time picks up nearest us. Machete Man forced to fight him off. Then comes Augusta Blue. Mr. Monocle working his way closer, but Machete Man goes again. He's brave up front. 100 meters left to run. Machete Man shows all the desire in the world, and Machete Man has beaten Mr. Monocle. Third Coronation Time, and then came doubling up. So Machete Man, the white sleeves and the blue cap, every time he got lifted for an effort, he responded. Coronation time, if he didn't go ahead, certainly got level. Augusta Blue traveled nicely into the race. Mr. Monocle finished off his race nicely. Doubling up was given every chance. But Machete Man just had every answer. Of a heavy weight of 61 and a half, kept finding all the way down to the line. Race four, the Cave Tur Turf Club Cape Sea Stakes has been won by number four, Machete Man. Makes it two on the trot, notching up his third career win. Well done to uh, the breeders. But uh, first of all, CP Madolo, he was all smiles with Machete Man. Also he looks after. And uh, JP was aboard. JP, just off here, we were touching on earlier on, you, you rode him, but he seems to be furnishing as, as a horse. Yes, uh, Vicky, I'm like we just spoke now. Um, I rode him early on in his thoughts. A little, little bit aggressive, um, did a bit hard. Uh, like I said to you now, he improved and he, and he strengthened up a lot. He feels like a racehorse now. Um, broke smartly, took him to the front where he's happy. Uh, came right back at me, got into the straight, let him unwind. Very lucky days in. Only when horses started getting to my, like my hindquarters, he put his ears back and he, and he gave, gave me some effort. So he's improved a lot as a, as a horse and he's definitely on the right path. Obviously, well into the whole team. Justin, thank you. JP, you see, you well, you look, you can confirm it. Um, to be travelling down for for the Saints quite a lot. Are you enjoying that um, that stint? Yes, yeah, definitely. Big stable. Um, Justin always has got plans for these horses, and uh, they fit and ready. So it's obviously, it's a pleasure riding for big stables like us. Obviously, Richard is obviously first choice, but um, big stables like us, second, third choice. There's so much meat on the bone, and it's obviously a pleasure riding for them. Well done for the win. Thank you. Yeah, John is going to, he's representing uh, Snaith Racing today. And uh, uh, John, a machete man, um, lovely front. As JP said, he just seems to be furnishing quite well. Yeah, you know, I must uh, special mention to Kitty Naidu. And, um, you know, we saw this horse at the national sale. And um, John Freeman, I fell in love with him. And he wasn't an expensive purchase at all. But he had a terrible start to his career. I don't think he could get in 100 meters of a horse in his first three runs. And, um, and he started off with a low rating base, which is often the better way as opposed to winning first time out and getting a rating of 90, as you're kind of stuck with for the rest of your career. But um, I guess he's watching. Justin's on holiday in Mauritius also watching. And uh, he's at uh, Denny Le Breton's house, and they're all watching the racing there in Mauritius, which is fantastic. And JP's riding incredibly well for us, you know, so may it continue. And I think we've got some nice runners out there today. 
I think Rio Karari has got to take a lot of beating in the sprint. And uh, we're quite strong in the back with Kingdom of Heaven and in the next race as well. So for the punters out there. Thank you very much for that info. Yeah, you did. It's lovely to have these, these caliber of horse coming out this time of the, the year, which is normally sort of an in-between season. Yeah, and I want, once again, I must say well done to Cape Racing, Justin for Mark and the team um, to keep horses like Royal Aussie and all these horses you see in the next race in the Western Cape. This time of the year is the first time I've seen that in many a year. And, you know, this year, a lot of Cape trainers, I think, will be preparing their horses for the big races like the July back here at home because there are now races and features for them. So uh, another step in the right direction by the team. It is indeed. Well done for the win. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's uh, John O'Snaith representing Snaith Racing. Number four, Machete Man is your winner. Well done uh, to Kiwi and Stud. And uh, as John mentioned, Mr. Nadu for owning, JP for riding, and CP for looking after what has turned out to be a consistent and quite game individual in number four, Machete Man, the son of Act of War.